Right, hello guys and welcome. Thank you very much for joining me here today again. So something a little bit different. We're up here now, up just outside Belfast at Molusk Playing Fields. Big massive open empty space. Oh by the way, do you like my t-shirt my wife got me? Eat, sleep, drone, repeat. <laughs> so we've got the uh, the evil. It's a bit windy today. It's a scorcher, 29 degrees. Today we're going to try out a wee bit of the waypoint fan using the evil. I haven't tried it before. This will be the first time. Do a screen recording while we're at it. We'll record some footage with this, and we'll see uh, what way the uh, waypoints operate. Let me get this sucker uh, all powered up and sorted, and uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll be trying out the waypoints to we'll see uh, what way that works out. So give us a wee second, and we'll get to it. Don't know if you've seen that there. We just had a runner run past there out of nowhere, and I, I don't know how she didn't spot. An orange drone. She nearly driven run over the top of it there. Anyway guys, the Evo's powered up, controller's powered up, we're all ready to go, it says go fly. So we're nearly ready to go. Evo's sitting there, not too sure what way the waypoints is going to work. So we're going to take off, we're going to hover and we'll go into the waypoints and we'll have a look and see. So I'm quickly wanted to point out, I've seen people on different, I, now you've probably seen my first video and I did forget to fold the antennas out. Brand new, all excited, forgot to fold the antennas out. Still was able to get out to nearly 500 metres with the antennas all folded in with the wee wrapper still around them, brand new from the packet. The way I always put my antennas is like so. Both of them out and almost straight down so that they're not up behind the phone. They're down there in the clear and that probably will give you the best sort of angle of attack when you're sitting holding the controller. That's going to be... We'll give it a bash and we'll see. We'll go in to go fly. I'll put that in the corner of the screen here now. You should be able to see that coming up now because we're recording. So we're MP4, 4K resolution. I'm going to turn that down. We don't need 4K. We're going to go 1080p. And we're going to go at 25 frames a second. We don't need to record 4K, we don't need 4K for this. Right, so we're ready to go. I'm going to shoot in auto mode for the picture, for the camera here. This manual. Auto, we're in auto mode, so we're going to leave it in auto mode. A wee bit windy here today, but anyway. Get this up. Uh, what corner? One of the corners of the screen. And uh, we're going to take off here now and we're going to have a wee look at the waypoints to see what the crack is. Ready? Here we go. Right, so we're now recording video as well. We just came to a hover, if you can see it up there. You can see it there, yeah. Right guys, so GPS, we're going to go in. Waypoint. Learning aircraft flies a predefined flight path according to the recorded position. A sets the waypoint, A is my right hand, B deletes the waypoint, left stick command, left and right, uh, right stick command makes it go uh, slow and fast, short press pauses it and a long pause ends it. So it's obviously you must have to fly a predetermined thing, okay. Right, so, set point A. Oh, I have to go to above, ten, I have to go above 10 meters. Right. We're going up a bit. So, 
we set point A. Right guys, we've set all the waypoints, we've set a total of seven waypoints, sort of fly down, go right, up, go left, round towards the trees, left again and back home. So we'll try that now, uh, we'll hit start, um, I suppose we'll just have to wait and see, we'll just have to see what happens. It's gonna do its thing now. Ta da! That's it done. There we go, and it switched itself back in the GPS mode, so it threw the MA points perfectly, that was good, I like that. There we go, so it done map, or it done the waypoints, seven waypoints, flew them, no problem, I didn't really just mess about with the camera turning around, we're just recording away and letting it do its thing, and everything seemed to go fine, no issues there. So that was waypoints, thumbs up, set the markers, hit start, away you go and it flies each of the points for you, and you can spin the aircraft on its axis while it flies in a straight line to each of them waypoints. Nothing too complicated about that, it follows the height that you set as well. So that was dead easy, waypoint flying, simple, easy, good job. But right, next one we're going to try, while well, we still have some battery left, it says we've got another 18 minutes remaining, we're going to try a bit of uh, active track, or dynamic track. Right, okay. So we're screen recording again, we're going to go into uh, dynamic track. The aircraft will follow the target. Altitude rotate forward. Okay. Right, so where are we? We're going to draw. Got me. It's got me.
There we go, guys. Dynamic track followed me, no problems there. Right, we'll pause that, we'll stop. Camera mode, stop the party. Right guys, so we've done uh, we've done waypoints which seem to go flawlessly there, worked all right, perfect, done what it was supposed to do, follow each of the points done dynamic track and it actually followed me quite well I think at one stage it did get a wee bit confused but then I sort of moved back and it got me back on frame and boom bingo uh, away it went again so yes waypoint dynamic tracking and the next one here I had to move a wee bit away from the tree so the wind is out a wee bit more here uh, this one here we're going to try a wee small orbit so we'll go into that and uh, we'll start an orbit and we'll see just start the screen here So the screen is recording. There I am there in the middle, we'll pull back a wee touch. We'll not go too far because of the trees. We'll not go too far because of the trees. We're going to start recording, bingo. We're going to go into the menu, we're going to go for orbit and we'll see how orbit works. Learning center, the aircraft will fly a circle of patterns around the center position. Next, set the center point. So we need to set the center point. And then we need to go back to make it bigger. Right, okay, yeah. So we need to come above us to set the point. So we'll come out, we'll look down. So looking at us there, going to set, looking at us, going to set point A. Increase the height. So it seems all these features don't work unless you're above 10 meters. So we're up to 11.1. There we go, we've set point A. And now adjust the radius. Fly to change the orbit radius, right? So we'll come back. There we are. Oh. Right. And then. Set the radius. And then you can set your direction you want to go. We're going to go clockwise. Start. And there it's away. That was me lifted the gimbal up there a wee bit, by the way, if you're wondering. It's flying in orbit, no problem, too, there we go. And the, the bigger I would fly out of that orbit, I can go higher and go bigger. Just need to watch them trees. Need a bunch of trees. Ooh. Thinking well, clear of the trees. Then we'll commence shorter. 
and we'll come down. Come in tighter, tighter, tighter. Right, we'll pause that. Pause. Exit. There, that's it. Orbit done, orbit complete. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right guys, there you go. Easy peasy, them squeezy, what else is there in there? So we've done uh, waypoint, we've done dynamic track, we've done orbit, normal camera mode. The only other one left is viewpoint. And uh, we'll maybe bring viewpoint for another uh, test someday. There's a, there's a firmware update out, which just came up on my screen earlier on there at the start of the video. I did get a thing about a firmware update while we were connected to the internet, so I want to get home, but I also want to. I also want to uh, fly the rest of this battery. Just show you quickly. I'm going to do a screen recording. Something that I just found out too. If you watch there and I, along the top of the screen, you've got that. You can see we're saying standby in my recording, and you can see the time remaining and stuff. If you tap that top dark bar. You get your satellite count and you got your control you got your battery voltage and percentage you have it right. I didn't realise that, just figured that out the other day, well last night. Just figured that out. So there you go. So along the top bar, you tap that top bar and you get the rest of your telemetry information that I couldn't see the other day. You learn something new every day, don't you? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks, huh? <laughs> Anyway, that's me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll try and come back with a wee bit more detailed information about how to do certain things. But that was just a wee quick basic to let you see some of the features working. Waypoints work, uh, dynamic track work and orbit work. And there's a firmware update out so we're going to get this firmware updated later on and we'll test it. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, this gimbal. Hopefully they've got a wee bit of work done to the gimbal. Which will definitely will which will improve its stability. But we'll see, we'll come back with an update later about that. Right guys, all the best. Thanks for watching. I'm away off now. I'm gonna enjoy myself for the next few minutes and uh fly this thing and uh just try and enjoy it. Right, all the best, bye bye.